CSGO is a game of milliseconds. Despite this, at least what I've seen in pistol tutorials, something not often talked about is how fast a pistol should be tapped at, or at least not in detail. While general rule of thumbs exists for both the USPS and Glock, without any numbers currently out, it's hard to be confident that you know that you're tapping at the right speed. So that's what I hope to answer now. First, we have to figure out what makes a tapping time optimal. I think the best is the tapping time that will give the most headshots in one second if you aim on the person's head. Which means we'll also have to factor in the distance you're shooting at because of inaccuracy. I like this metric because if you trust the numbers I give, it will give the most optimal chance of killing a person or multiple people, provided that you're just aiming on them. You can make the argument that this isn't a fair metric because of the first shot accuracy and body shots or whatever, but I think this is a really good one in a general case, since A, lots of pistol engagements don't always have the first shot hit, and B, since many pistol engagements probably end with headshots. I know this will ignore the situational factors that come with CSGO, but it would be really hard to include those in a mathematical sense. So, if we want to use this metric, we want to figure out what time will give the maximum headshots per second at a given range on average, since this will determine what's the best tapping speed. How do we calculate the average headshots per second? You'll have to stay with me because I'm not good at explaining this. To figure this out, we'll first write down the amount of times we shoot in a given amount of seconds, since this will be the max amount of headshots we'll get. While this is easy to understand, instead, I'll write it down as the amount of seconds we're shooting over the amount of delay between shots, with the seconds being represented with S and delay being represented with the letter D. Because it's easier to understand shoot every 0.25 seconds instead of shoot 4 times per second. If we take the amount of times we shoot in a certain amount of seconds, which is what we just did, and multiply it by the chance that a shot will be a headshot, represented by A for accuracy, we get this formula, which we can sum up very nicely as this. The A can go on top because we can say A is over 1, which is right, and then multiply the two fractions together. And the S variable can go away in this case since it will just be 1, because we're wanting to see how many headshots are in 1 second, and multiplying and dividing by 1 will do nothing, so we can pretend they're just not there. And here it is. In other words, the optimal timing of a certain range is equal to the maximum headshots on average in a second, which can be represented as a chance that a shot is a headshot over the delay you're shooting at. For example, just to show how it works, let's say we shoot every 0.1 seconds and the headshot accuracy is 100%. If we divide, we get 10 shots per second, which makes sense logically. If this number is greater than every other shooting delay interval, at the same distance, then we can conclude that 0.1 seconds is the best tapping time. If you don't understand this formula, don't worry. Later I'll just tell you the best timings and you'll miss out on the fun part of getting our answers. Except, the next part isn't fun, which was getting the numbers. The percentage may be a little bit off, because I can only keep my sanity so long deciding if thousands of shots are headshots or not. If you want to redo them, be my guest. But don't. Trust me. Imagine looking at this clip and counting the amount of headshots you get, but for three hours. So now that we have the different shooting accuracies with timings at different distances, we can plug the numbers into a formula to get these numbers, which will be the average headshots per second you will get. The higher the average, the more headshots you will get, aka the better the timing. We see that at each distance, besides really up close, the performance of shooting times forms a parabola, meaning there's two different times you can shoot at to get the same amount of headshots per second. Since it takes so long to get just one data point, I'm going to do logistic regression to get a graph of the best timing. This should be pretty accurate as it models our original points pretty well. And ta-da! If you haven't followed what I've said up to now, this is when you should pay attention. When comparing the USPS and Glock side by side, we see that both pistols actually have very similar best shooting times, but in medium ranges, you should shoot slightly faster with the Glock, with the maximum difference just being about 25 milliseconds, which is basically nothing humans can try and adjust for. At the end of this video, I'll give examples of the best shooting times in real maps, and I'll show you how you can easily find the best shooting time for any two distances you want. Before that though, I just want to address the raw headshots per second you get with the Glock versus USPS, since this is kind of like performance with them. What's interesting is the Glock actually gets more per second than the USPS, meaning it kind of performs better. Does this mean that the Glock is actually better than the USPS? No, don't be silly. The USPS has better damage, first bullet accuracy, and the stealthness factor that sucks on the Glock, meaning it still fails at basically every other factor. However, when it comes to the amount of headshots you'll get per second by tapping, then the Glock wins. Anyway, now for application of what I found, so that this is useful. When you are where you want to stand in a fight, type get pause and paste the first three numbers into a text document or Steam chat so that you can copy and paste them later easily. Then go where you would want the enemy to be and do the same thing. Then open the Excel spreadsheet I have in the description and paste the data into these boxes like this. Make sure there's no extra space on the bottom or else it will mess up. The optimal timing will be right here. If you're lazy or just want to get a general idea of how the timing works, here are some real examples. 